Hey, hey guys, Nikkei 78 here with more Persona 4 Golden. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um, some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. I mean, it's so... It's so thick, it's like harder to walk it around in, and it's harder to drive in. You definitely don't want to put on your brights when you're trying to shine through the truth of this fog, you know? Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? Well, can we really prove anything, though? Because, like... How is it possible that they got killed? That's the one big thing that is going to be really, really hard to prove because he didn't touch the victims at all, at least for the first two. I'm sure your uncle can. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes, there are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it! You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets! They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki-senpai. No, not just her, or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. Reminded that you made a promise with Nanako to buy a new Kotatsu. What's the matter? You told the others about your promise with Nanako. A Kotatsu? Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. All right, off to the houseware section for Nanako-chan! If we're getting a kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. The best compliment to a kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh yeah, you've never used a kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Can I still stay here? You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. What's this about? You were going back on your promise against Nanako-chan? But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. 
How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But... I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys... You can stay here. Sensei, I'm so touched. I'll stay by your side until Nana-chan comes home, Sensei. Oh, that's right. There's no one but you at your place. Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously. We're clear on this, right? Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. What? What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Stay, Stay out, out of this! this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? A Jack Frost doll. Hee-ho. Yeah, that, that white round shape's the best. A plush doll's the way to go. All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! And we'll bake the cake! Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. Oh, no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? It's Adachi. Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Come on, let's go! Just as we were thinking of a present. In a Municipal Hospital, Nanako's room, Dojima is listening to an explanation from the doctor. There have been loud voices throughout the hospital for some time now. Doctor! This fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV! Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down! You're lying! We know you have medicine for this! Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <clears throat> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Nanako. Nurse accompanied Dojima back to his room. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but... 
Damn it. Why does this have to happen to a little girl like her? I can't forgive this. Me neither. This is all that bastard's fault. Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Yeah, that, and the whole angle about him putting people into TVs, there's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? If you want to see that stuff so bad, we'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! What the? Is Nanako Chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. Uh oh. What the hell? What's going on? No. Nanako Chan. Daddy. It'll be all right. Nanako-chan. Nanako-chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor. <sighs> Big bro. I'm right here. Nanako! <clears throat> Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. Nana Chan. We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this.
नानक जान Dojima san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is is Nanaka chan? But then where did Dojima san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec. That's the way to Same hospital? For crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case. What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no. Oh, he's in no condition to move. I'm sorry, I accidentally pressed the A button. Uh, my cat was coming in the door, and it startled me a little. Where is his room? I can't tell you that. Just tell us where he is already. Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him. Kanjikun, you don't mean. Uh, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up. Where's this room? <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. Meanwhile, Nanako's hospital room. I... I was always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... I, the only one in the world. Call a doctor. Let go of me. I need to. Holy crap! Dojima-san, quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. Son, was he seriously gonna? <sighs> His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai, and now Nanako chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right! Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? Uh... Hello? Did the window spook you? <laughs> the window in the room is wide open. What are you doing? I... I was scared, so... I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too? It's your fault that Nanako Chun's... I... I didn't. I... Twelve o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... I failed to save her. It's because you got in my way. 
Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. Yeah, usually you just stand there and kind of look at your other self, but he kind of like turned into his other self or something. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... Please! Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you! K Kanji... <sighs> Do whatever, Do whatever you want. want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? My god. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You're just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... What... What's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Cheer! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's going to get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? Are we going to really fall to his level, though? There's something odd about what he's saying. I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. J just... P push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing could make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? This is the part where you can make a very big decision. Anything you say here will change how you end the game. By pushing him in, you'll get the bad ending. So we need to stay calm and think about this. 
a lot of people get tripped up here as well, so by following these responses, you should be able to continue the game going towards the true ending. Wait a second here. We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? We're missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? Namatame's true feelings. But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV! Those are just his shadow. What didn't you understand? Didn't you notice that he was confused? Something's still bothering me. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? We're missing something, though. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Calm the down, man. You yelled at everyone to calm down. <laughs> He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. Not a lot of people would choose calm the hell down because, like, what the heck? You never get that angry before and you're trying to tell everyone to calm down. I'm perfectly calm. Yeah, sure. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. If he got any of those responses wrong, it'll go for the normal ending with Namatame ending up in jail. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. Everyone took a deep breath. It seems that everyone has finally regained their composure. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But! Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <clears throat> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. There will be a bonus video at the end of this series, showing off all the other endings as well. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Let's just think for now. Jeez, how the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. <laughs> Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. The 
case has taken a sharp turn, and the investigation team is now one step closer to the truth. It seems that you will go on with your friends to solve another mystery. We are max rank with the investigation team. Thou art die, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be our eyes to see the truth. We have bestow upon thee ability to create Loki, the ultimate form of the Fool Arcana. I'm sorry, I meant Loki! Okay, that's enough. <laughs> oh, that hurt my throat. <laughs> The investigation social link has reached its maximum. You have mastered the investigation team social link. Your power to create personas of the full arcana has reached its maximum. Kyo Narukami has forged a bond that cannot be forgotten. By mastering the full social link, you can now feel Loki, the shape shifter. I can't do it as well as a catchy. Can I'm sorry. Thou art I and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed with creating personas of the Judgment Arcana. How fitting, considering we are a judge, uh, well, almost judge, jury, and executioner. We went there at that moment. You have established the Seekers of the Truth social link of the Judgment Arcana. You may earn experience bonus when fusing personas at the Judgment Arcana. Hey, you guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh, crap! We were keeping an eye on the suspect. Yeah, he almost jumped out of a window. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation and their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So, he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? Yeah, that doesn't make sense, right? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her... It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh... I don't really get any of this. 
Oh, this is so confusing. Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! Where am I? I think we'll figure out where Teddy is in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode when we continue on with the story.